In their respective corners of the shop, the guys begin by playing with ideas and concepts that may or may not work. All right, so I had a great idea for flying guillotine. I asked the researchers to find me a bear trap. Hopefully this would have enough energy to actually crush through a person's head. Clearly there's enough force, but throwing this through the air could be problematic. First up, Tori's chosen to meddle with metal with a scissor cutting design. Before I start building this in steel, I want to make sure my design for the flying guillotine works. So I'm going to build a prototype with foam core, make sure it works, and then I'll move on to the steel. <sighs> Meaning it's going to be a try it and see kind of process. Yeah. Sometimes in the design process, you just have to get in there and get your hands dirty. Because there are no historical documents, no blueprints, no plans for a flying guillotine, we're just gonna have to figure this out as we go, which is gonna mean a lot of trial and error. Probably mostly error. And that's immediately clear from Carrie's first fiddle with a fan from an air conditioning duct. I've been trying this, like, complicated iris design, but it's too complicated. It's, it's hard to use, it's getting heavy, and I just don't think it's gonna work. So it's back to square one for Carrie. And likewise, on Belechi's bench, this lethal-looking scissor prototype he's made is also a dud. Uh, my flying guillotine doesn't work at all. I mean, it kind of looks cool, but if you put something inside of it, like, that's the safest place to be. Despite the pressure of their early designs failing on several fronts, the guys aren't deterred. I'm gonna have to come up with a whole new design.